Number two, we have to defend it. It's like the, the hardest cases are when it's something everyone finds deplorable. Um, I have some kind of, you know, as an educator, I kind of start with what I said before. <coughs> Civility, reason, facts, discourse, that's exchanging. So I have tons of free speech on the campus. And I do, just apart from the First Amendment, when someone says, you're at a university and you don't allow people chanting Nazi slogans to march through your campus, you know, it kind of is like, okay. I, I mean, I'm for free speech. I've got a private university, but why are we looking at the tail all the time? You know, why doesn't someone just sit around and say, hey, what do people talk about? What do people disagree on? And so I, I do get a little concerned I think the media actually has changed a little bit, and your question reveals it. It's like, well, you know, there's no free speech on a college campus. The other thing I'll point out is I had Milo Yiannopoulos and Charles Murray on my campus, and we managed to work with the students. They were great. No one wrote a story. No one would write a story. Milo comes, nothing happens. And it's not a criticism, it's just, <laughs> 